today, we are starting on the base. This is a quickly put together account of building my WNMRBO diorama base as I'm feeling the crunch of an ambitious plan colliding with a tight deadline. Hopefully you'll find some entertainment here, even if it's only schadenfreude at my gluing adventures. I started cutting up some one inch extruded polystyrene foam to the right shape. I got a cheap hot wire cutter set from Amazon. It's not the best, but works much better than any knife. Okay. Remember to edit that out. I broke the A-frame and the hoist in the machine shed trying to carry too many things at once into the garage. But some super glue and some one, two, three blocks fixed it. Now I'm laying out the buildings on the farm, marking everything. I've got my design from the first episode for reference. I remembered that the road by the farm should curve to make sense, since the ground rises a lot going towards the factory. I laid out things to take into account the right of way and ditches. All the pieces got glued with the urethane glue and weighted down. Because the time is short and sculpt mode takes days to dry, I use plaster to finish the terrain. Now I lay down some glue and soil using some grout and sift the dirt from the yard. I taped off the foundations of the buildings to keep them clean and to help set them into the terrain. Okay, as you can see, the status right now is my grout did not stick. Not sure why, the dirt did. So what I'm gonna do is cover most of this in dirt and a little bit up here and just have the lighter material down here in the river. I think it didn't wet out enough. This grout's really weird, it's some kind of polymer formula. The only reason I got it is because I like the color and it doesn't like to absorb water for some reason. So I think it just, top surface got wet and it didn't penetrate even though it was half alcohol. So I'm just going to do it with the dirt. My dirt is rich, dark river sediment, high in organics, probably ideal for a farm. It is awesome at growing weeds and stuff deer love to eat.
I did the typical isopropyl spray followed by diluted PVA glue. There, we're back. Now, mixed up some grout, actually mixed it up, and we are going to do the side. Tonight, we're gonna try to do a couple things. We're going to make a pattern to make black top for this parking lot. We're going to try to fade this in a little bit. And I forget the third thing, but I'm sure it'll come. There we go. Now we use some spray adhesive and dirt to blend the junction between the garden dirt and the grout in the riverbed. Beautiful. We're going to make the parking lot with our template and some uh, polymer clay. <laughs> One suggestion when using clay like this, cut it to shape on whatever you're going to use to bake it. It stretches when you pick it up. So there. <laughs> so we're gonna put driveway in, culvert. Lesson learned, PVA does not seem to stick. Now, we're going to try contact skin. Now, I guess the next thing I'll find out is contact cement melts styrene. Yep, I think that's what it's doing. After perusing the internet, we find trial three, Gorilla Glue, is the one to use. Here's a 3D printed tree. There. Ta da! Cool. Now we're going to do some sanding. Now that I glued this down, so now, now we know you glue with Gorilla Glue. Got some trees on here. I will make a video showing how to model these trees after the contest is over. It's really easy in Blender. Now we start adding static grass. didn't film all this, but this part has got the second layer with some spray adhesive on, um, so that's good. This I'm calling this done. This has got one layer. We're going to do a little carving on this. I wanted to make the asphalt parking lot a little broken up. The polymer clay is easy to carve, and the chunks make great rubble. Now we airbrushed the driveway and road at the farm. Now I'm gonna to try to put another layer of static grass. I 
took the pellets off because I wanted to weather the track first. I forgot to hit record. I put some light washes on here. I'm not sure how I like those. Um, now I'm going over with some chalk pastels. I had put down ballast but forgot to do weathering of the track. I had sprayed the whole thing flat dark brown before installing. And after removing the ballast, I also sprayed some Tamiya hull red on the rails as rust, and then put some white wash on the ties to add variation, followed up with the pastels. Then I laid down some ballast, and I probably spent way too much time trying to get it straight and even. This is round two on ballasting. I sprinkled some dirt down, forgot to record. I wanted the spur to look like it was being absorbed by the environment with a little raised better ballast and lots of dirt. The ballast is wetted with isopropyl alcohol and then diluted PVA glue. What I learned from previous experiments was painting the bed in nanocarbon combined with dye gave the best results. Okay, now I'm going to tone down this grass a little bit. A backlit at a low level, bright green grass is correct, but otherwise it appears dark. Stop the wobble pop. Now we're doing water. I already poured one layer, which you can see right here. This is layer two. The reason I did two is that there's more, I've got um, some pigments and some nanocarbon particles in this. And I wanted that layer a little bit darker. This layer is less dark, less carbon in it, less pigment. So we're gonna pour this and be on our way. this is the status I'm gonna call that good for this video so I can get it out and keep working there's some stuff to do to this yet the trees have to be planted there's gonna be more brush and shrubs and little grass plantings but I'm gonna leave that until the buildings are ready to go on and be mounted to kind of tie everything in together so this is kind of it for now and there'll be some more weather that's the update on the base and where we're at right now and now I got to keep on chugging because time is getting short thanks for watching mm -hmm.